Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is me, Gorman Q3 of the Weekly Contest 228. Minimum limit of force in a bag. So this one, I had a silly wrong answer, but I think this is a very good uh, binary search problem. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and ask me questions about this and other problems. Uh, but yeah, um, so this is a binary search question, and... The first thing I do is I look at n is 10 to the 5th. I look at the num uh, the bounds of the numbers is 10 to the 9th. So, you know, a binary, so we do a binary search on feasibility on 10 to the 9th, right? So basically the idea behind this problem is the way that I think about it uh, and is that you have, you have a function, right? Let's say we have a magical function that lets you know that... Um, that gives you the opposite of a not the opposite, but maybe the in, uh, the the reverse of the problem. Where okay, let's say we have uh, you know we have the answer three, right? What happens? Um, well, can so the question becomes can can you get um, can can the max number of a ball? Okay, if the max number of balls in a bag is three. How many operations can it do? Uh, does it require? And that's basically the the idea that I have here. Um, and with you, um, and is the num the number of operations uh, less than or equal to two, right? And if you if you ask that question, so let me write this down for you. Um, given max balls in a bag is equal to some number k, um, can you? Can you reach? Can you uh, reach this in less than and or equal to max operations, right? And and so if you look at this graph, or if you look at if you look at this question, uh, there are two things that should come to you, right? Uh, that lets you know that's a binary search problem. Um, and coming out of this question takes practice, so don't worry if you didn't get this directly. Just practice more. I think, you know, I think it just. It, it it is definitely something that you you practice. Um, so the two things that I can ask uh, uh, that you kind of feel it out is that um, okay, given a max force as you go back k, how many operations does it take from nums, right? And if you kind of plot this graph, it's going to you know one observation is if k gets bigger, that means that for large k operations will be smaller right if k gets smaller operations will be bigger and and this is a strictly um this is a strict uh function right and what i mean by that is if um if given k and and k plus one f of k will always be less than uh, is that true or the other way around? Whoops. Uh, yeah. So this is always true, right? Uh, where f of k is this function. Um, and you could f know that this is true because, it, you know, if if you grow from m max being five balls in a bag to six balls in a bag, well, you know that at the worst case, you do, you do the same operations to get to six balls, and that will give you the answer, right? Um but there are ways to improve that. And if you look at it now, if you change f sub 2 or f or g sub k, is you go to this, okay, let's just say this is g sub k, right? It's now a binary function. So this is f sub k. So these are observations that you make during the contest. Um, and then g sub k is going to be, you go to um, you know, this function is just f sub k is less than or equal to max operations and then from that you can kind of figure out that g sub k is going to be equal to um force 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 oops force 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 and then at some point it becomes true like there's one case where it becomes true and then after everything after that is going to be true right and because because it only going to take fewer operations as you go higher. So if it takes fewer operations, there's no way that it is going to be forced. And you may see me do this in other places, but uh, in the notation, I, I just kind of draw it like this. 
to kind of as an example and then now you know you do your binary search because now you have this bound oops and then you have some middle right and what happens right if if this is true let's say you have your middle pointer is this middle pointer here um well if this is true what happens if this is true that means that we could forward everything to the right right um and actually let's let's do this again but let's go over it with the code so basically i the way that uh and we'll go over how to write this in a second but but we'll do the binary search part uh because i want to go over it first which is this part here oops and of course the bounds we choose the left bound because we knew that we know that one is the smallest possible target and right we choose 10 to the 9 because it's the biggest number right and this loop is going to run log of 10 to the 9 times which is roughly yeah, which is which is approximately 30 right or 31 maybe 30 31 um because that's just you know you plug in a calculator right and basically here we we ask ourselves if this function is good if, if this mid this is the middle what happens right uh, well, then we forward everything to the right. And what happens when you forward everything to, away to the right? Then now your right po uh, your right pointer, we move this to here. So that's basically how I get right as you go to mid. Um, and and it conversely, if... Or inversely, maybe. If uh, the middle points at a force po counter, what happens? Well, we forward everything to the left and this character, right? Because we know that um because we know that this is force we're gonna move the left pointer to um the middle plus one right let's just draw one here um and that's basically why i've left is equal to mid plus one so then now the question is how do you do this right oops why did they only copy like half of it hmm. uh yeah so now we have an operation that does this. This is, if you look for it really quickly, this is going to be linear time. So let's just say linear time. Uh, but yeah, but basically the idea, and I kind of spent some time here just to kind of get this correct. But, you know, given, given that we know that the max number is this target, let's say we have uh, nine balls uh, and we want max is equal to three. Well, you know that it's going to take two two operations because not nine we cut this to six three and then we cut this to three 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 right uh we cut to six and basically the idea is that we just take it every um you know at a time so if we have 10 balls max is equal to three it will take three operations because it goes 10 to seven and then a three and then four and then three and a three and then uh, one, three, 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 right? So basically, you want the length of the final thing, which is this yucky looking formula uh, with integer division. But but that's basically the idea behind this formula. Uh, and you should be able to derive this at home. I'll leave it as an exercise to the reader. I think, you know, uh, work it out. I mean, I think this is a good exercise anyway. And, and once we have that, you can see that this is linear time, as I said. And, you know... Um, so this is O of N times the log of the range. So this is going to be, yeah, O of log of R, where R is, the, R is the range, which is just 10 to the 9, say. And this is just, um, yeah, iterations. Uh, and each iteration takes O of N time. So this is going to be O of N log R. Uh, in terms of space, we don't we uh as a binary search we only use constant amount of extra space so this is actually a, a time all of one space i think i don't do anything right yeah um though sometimes it could be linear but for this problem it's just that's it and lock off time or one space and that's all i have and it's a very good binary search problem definitely practice it and let me leave the code up uh but yeah, so I did get a wrong answer for this during the contest because, um, and this is why I always complain about templates. And even in my mind, I kind of wrote it without thinking and that what bugged me. And actually everything was right uh, when I submitted except for this line 23 where I had this as equal to zero. So then it threw an error. Usually it doesn't even, usually um, your code, 
you know, your code mixes so that it doesn't matter a lot of the times. But in this case, what happens was that it ends up uh, being uh, the balance being the the input to good, um, and this divides by zero, which throws an error, and and that makes me a sad day because this is this happened to be a a, a easy problem set. So the five minute penalty just pushed me way way down on on the rankings as a result. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all I have for this problem. Uh, you can watch me solve it live next. Someone finished already, but not surprised.
Optimistic. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem in general. Uh, yeah, take care of yourself, take care of others. Uh, stay, you know, stay good, stay well, to good mental health, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.